Hey guys, welcome to the lap of luxury dog spot. Come on in, let me give you a tour. So everybody, this is my salon, lap of luxury dog spa. I'm gonna give you a tour. Let's start with our point of sale systems. Right now we have some of our uh, Diamond Dogs collars on display here. And Diamond Dogs is a company out of England. Uh, these are all Swarovski crystals and they're on English saddle leather. So this is one of our higher priced items. So we like to display them where they're prominently displayed. And we've got some custom made bags down here. These are pet carriers for dogs. And we display them with the beautiful rocks, just kind of make it look a little bit nicer in here. Well, this is our day-to-day -day operations. We have our computer system here. I'm old school. I've been grooming 30 years. So even though we have a computer system, I still need a paper appointment book because this is what I'm used to for 30 years. These are some of our display areas, if you look here. So at the top of the display area is where we display all my awards. I have some really great awards that I'm very proud of. Um, this one right over here, actually I won this past year. This is a 2019 award for Best Salon from the IJA uh, Nash Academy Awards. So I'm really proud of that because I'm a Nash graduate. Um, and I also got outstanding achievement in the industry. So I was really proud to receive this and I'm really honored that IJA awarded me with that. So if you look, we have created a little menu board. This is not everything that we do, but this is some of our add-on services. So we do like mud treatments and medicated shampoos, dental treatments, um, deep conditioning treatments. So I have found that by putting it up here, it's just another reminder for customers that it's available to them and it exists. Um, so I don't have to talk about it every time and they can look at the menu board and ask for it uh, by request. So it helps to actually push those items by letting people know that it's there. This is one of our other display areas. And um, right here we have some custom made tags. So people can actually order the tags from us and we have them engraved and um, we can send them to the customer or they can tell us what they want on it and the company will engrave them and send them either to us or the customer. So. These generally have crystals in them. Some of them are made of higher quality metals. I did have some at one time that had diamonds in them for those special clients, of course. And then this is what we call our hygiene center. So when I first took over the store, I kind of brought in more practical things that I thought everyday pet owners would really need. And the philosophy of the old owner was not to sell shampoos and things like that because they thought, well, dogs are coming here to get washed. Why do they need shampoos? But we've actually made a fortune selling hygiene products because people need to maintain their dogs in between. Moving along over here, I created this toy area over here. And the reason why I moved the toy area over to the front is because toys tend to be something that customers go through a lot. Having them close to the register helps to sell more toys because it becomes like an impulse buy. We have fun stuff like the little hamburgers that come apart and dogs love to tear these apart. But one of the best sellers for us are these over here. We're in Boca del Rey, you know, so my clientele, they are high end, they like designer clothes, they like designer things. So we have a company that makes the little Chewy Vuitton slipper for them to chew on, um, the purses that are like a Chewy Vuitton, or um, we've got Pada, like Prada, and um, DOG, like D&G. So those are a really big seller for us. And they have recently come out with their own little version of those hiding toys where there's little balls and stuff that you stuff inside and the dog has to work to get them out. So it adds an extra layer of, of activity for the dog and it helps keep them mentally stimulated. So, you know, um, gone are the days where you just give your dog a chew toy and they should be happy with it because dogs really need to be stimulated. So these are the kinds of toys that we like to carry. And for those of you that are watching that are a little bit older, don't forget, we have Mr. Bill toys. Now, if you don't know who Mr. Bill is, I'm too old for you and you need to go look it up. I'm not explaining. Right spot. <laughs> okay. I think grooming and nutrition goes hand in hand. I'm a big proponent for getting people onto um, higher quality diets, um, whole ingredients. So we carry um, some freeze dried raw diets. We, we sell um, some of the higher end foods for dogs and we have all natural, um, all USA made dog treats. And a lot of the stuff that we carry is organic. Um, I carry nothing that comes from outside the country. It's very important. My customers ask about those things. So I think it's really important to, um, you know, give the customers what they actually want. And so 
USA made treats are what people typically go for. So this is what we have. So now I'm gonna show you all of our boutiques and I'm really excited to show you the products that we carry that my customers have come to love. So we've broken up all of our boutiques into sections to make shopping a little bit easier for customers. So you can see we have them labeled bowls, t-shirts, coats, travel, harnesses, collars, and beds. So we have this section with bowls and these section over here with bowls. And we try to carry a variety of options for people. So if you look here, if you've got somebody who's got more of a Zen, kind of a modern feel, we've got these diners that are like that. If you're a little bit more classic and refined, we have some of these porcelain cookie jars and bowls in some of these more classic prints like the herringbone. Um, leopard is always a big seller. I think pretty much everywhere you go and leopard never goes out of style. This is our t-shirt section. So our t-shirt section is where we have t-shirts for dogs. We have cute little half dresses, little t-shirts, um, little tank tops for the dogs. And we actually have some four leg little pajamas and people go crazy for the stuff. Does everybody put clothing on their dogs? No, but a lot of people do. And because we're in South Florida and we get a lot of tourists who come to our plaza, they come to eat at the restaurant next door. So we get a lot of walkthrough traffic and these are the kind of impulse buys that we get from people who are shopping from out of town. This is our little section with our step-in leads and step-in leads have done really well for us. If you don't carry them, I would highly recommend them. They're really great for little dogs and it's a leash and a harness all in one and it just slips down. So for those dogs that don't like to wear collars and leashes, those customers who don't like to put things on, they think things are too heavy, these are really lightweight. They're not actually leather. They're made of like a vinyl material. And so many different companies make these and I think they're an awesome product for um, you to carry in your store. These are some of my favorites that we were found from a little company. Um, this one is Garucci. This one is like a little Versace print. And this one is a little Chewy Vuitton. So when it's on, my, my little Yorkie actually has this. So when this is on her, it looks like she's wearing like a little backpack or like a little Gucci backpack and it's awesome. Now this little section right here, this is from a company um, that is no longer in business and I have a few of these pieces left and they're very sought after. So um, we hold on to them and we really don't put these on sale. This is from a company called Paris Erotica and they were a company that made really high fashion for dogs. So you can see there's like a little denim and shirt set, and it's like a onesie. Um, we have a couple of t-shirts, little tank tops, and they're just like, they're more rock and roll. They're kind of wild. Um, they're very much for a particular kind of customer, but they do very well. And we get a lot of requests from people um, from pretty much all over the world if we still have pieces from this collection. So this is our travel section. This is where we have all of our pet carriers. Um, these are like designer copies, you know, like the Louis Vuitton print. Um, but one of our best sellers is actually this little bag here. And it seems like something very nondescript for a high-end store, but this is actually, it's called a snoozer and it is a multifunction bag. It is a rolling bag. So you can roll it through the airport. It's a backpack. So you can strap it on yourself and carry your dog. It's got loops here to put it in the back seat, so it's a car seat. And then when you travel on the airplane, you slip it under the seat in front of you and the sides are flexible and they come down. So this is our number one airline bag. We sell probably about 40 of these every season for our seasonal customers who fly between the North and the South, our snowbirds. And travel does really, really well for us because we have a lot of people in this area where this is their second home. So. Uh, we cater to all kinds of people. Now, this is one of our harness boutiques and our harness boutique is really full because here in Florida, we have tons of people who prefer harnesses. We cater mostly in this salon to smaller breed dogs. Um, and here in Florida, everybody takes their dogs places with them. They take them to outdoor restaurants, um, shopping downtown in Del Rey. So it's really popular to have your dog and people don't like to wear the collars, so they have harnesses. So we have brought in these mesh harnesses because they're really lightweight. They're very cool, breathable in the hot summers. I think today, you know, it's probably 95 degrees outside in Florida. So these kind of harnesses do great. And for the people who wanted to make them a little bit prettier, we've got some that have flowers, little appliques on them. 
And what I love about these harnesses and what I think is a great feature for any harness is that they have an outside D-ring. The D-ring is this little metal clip that you hook on to um, the, the leash. And a lot of harnesses don't have D-rings in the right place, so it actually ends up pulling on their neck, which is why you put a harness is so that you don't pull on the dog's neck. So the D-ring strategically placed is a really important thing. So whenever you're buying harnesses for your store to retail, make sure they have D-rings and that they're going to uh, prevent any pulling on the dog's neck. Now this is one of my favorite boutiques because this is what we, this is the Susan Lancy boutique. So anybody who doesn't know what Susan Lancy products are, you need to find out because if you retail, this is the stuff you need to carry. So Susan Lancy was the creator of this collection. All of this stuff is made out of microfiber. These are harnesses and they come in so many different sizes because they're in half sizes. And Susan Lancy recently sold the company to another company um, and they've brought in some really fun patterns that Susan wasn't doing before but these are awesome. They make these little jeweled crystal um, collars that are made of Swarovski crystal. They also make these adjustable um, microfiber collars and they're so soft and people love this because they're so lightweight. I mean, these are ounces. So uh, for the little dogs, people really love these and it's a great seller and they display really beautifully. We get these really cute little hangers and we hang them on and we, we set it up so that it's shopping like an experience like when you go out and you shop for yourself. One of the things that I don't like when I go to a store is when a rack is packed with clothes and I've got to sit there and sift through all the clothes and look for everything. I prefer things to be laid out a little bit more spaciously, a little easier to, to find what you're looking for and it's not so overwhelming. So that's kind of how we try to lay things out and that's our philosophy is to have things more inviting so that when people come in and they want to shop, it's an experience and it's not just like another run of the mill store. And that's kind of like what I think has been part of our success through um, the last 10 years. And this right here is our little bed boutique. So we just put some of, a couple of the beds that we have available right now. But what's really great is this company who makes these donut beds and they make square beds, they have swatches, fabric swatches. So, and they're local. And it only takes them about seven days to make me a bed. So I have about 200 different fabric swatches that I keep on a ring. And when a customer comes in, in this area, a lot of people are looking for beds that are actually going to match the decor of their home, not just by the same color. They want almost a fabric that's gonna be the same fabric as their couch or the same fabric as their comforter, things like that. So we have these fabric swatches with solids and plush fabrics and prints and text, uh, you know, textures, different textiles, and people can actually customize their bed. They can have the, the top half and the bottom half be different colors. They can have um, the whole thing be one solid color. So we really give that customization factor when they're purchasing the beds because it's a bigger selling factor and customers really love to be able to um, pick and choose all the fabrics and the sizes and the shapes and make it really feel like um, they were a part of the um, production of the bed and a lot of people prefer to do it that way. All right guys, now that I've shown you my store, I wanna show you the grooming salon. <laughs> All of these stations have been custom built, seven grooming tables in here, and we can accommodate 32 dogs at one time. These are how we have our kennels set up like this. Um, this kennel right here is primarily used as a grooming station and the employees uh, bring their dogs every day. I allow my employees to bring their dogs and I bring my dogs every day. So um, it's a happy environment and we just want people to you know, enjoy their job. And so these kennels are primarily used by my employees. Um, and then this is where we keep all the dogs. This is our bathing area. So we have custom cabinetry where we keep all of our, our bathing supplies. We have our own washer and dryer because we do tons of laundry through the day. And of course our bathing area where we have, you know, a multitude of shampoos and we have a bather box bathing system. Um, so this is where our bather works all day. Um, I do have one bather who that's all she does. She's not a groomer um, by, uh, by, by trade. She doesn't do cutting. She doesn't do prepping, but she's a really awesome woman, really great with the dogs. And she really loves to just, wash the dogs. So that's what she does. This is her area. She washes and does the towels all day. And then this is our, this is what we call our 
um, appointment board, and it's sort of like our control center. Every day we rewrite this board. Um, the lines are in Sharpie marker, but everything else is in erasable marker. So every day we write the last name and the breed of dog, and if they're getting a cut, HS stands for hand strip, BT is bath and tidy, and B is bath. I assign the groomer and their pickup time and their, uh, their, their arrival time and their pickup time. Every groomer is color coded and every step of the process is color coded. So what I do when people come in, we, let's say we have all these dogs checked in, I will number in blue marker the order in which they're to be bathed so that this way I make sure all the groomers have something in process um, and then with red marker, I number the dogs in order that they should be dried and the assistants then know which ones to bathe or dry in that particular order. And they don't really have to think about times and who needs a dog. That's my job. That's what I do. So that's how we do that. Um, we're heading into the summer season and we just reopened after COVID. So things are a little bit slower, but um, you can see it goes down to number 49. So there are days that we do 49 and sometimes we have post-it notes stuck along the edge for the extra dogs that don't fit on the board. I wanna show you guys my scissor collection because some of you know, if you follow me on social media, you've seen my scissor collection. I've posted about it before and it, it grows all the time. Um, I'm sure many of you out there can appreciate what you're about to see because scissors are something I think you can never have enough of. So this is just one of my scissor cases. Um, Primarily, all of these are Kenshi shears, obviously, because I uh, work with Kenshi and um, I'm their brand ambassador and they make my line of shears, Lightning by Jonathan David. Um, the Lightnings are my personal line. I can show you guys those. I have um, three scissors in my line and then we have a fourth one. So we have my Lightning straights. It's an eight and a half inch straight and it's got the logo on it. It's called lightning by jonathan david right there and it's got this awesome little lightning bolt and i came up with this design because um, one of the things i'm known for is scissoring really fast and i groom very quickly and so i wanted scissors um, that kind of represented my speed so we designed the lightning and that's the name i came up with because uh, i'm lightning fast um, i also designed these curves with kenji and they're a double pinky rested curve and the purpose of that is so that you can not only do curves curved lines in one direction, but you can flip the scissor easily and you still have a pinky rest on both sides to give you support so you don't get bouncing of your tips. And then the third shear in my line are my thinning shears. So if you know anything about me, you know that I'm really well known for my scissor over comb technique. Thinning shears are something that I teach a lot of and I'm a real, real advocate for using all different types of thinning shears. So we designed this thinning shear, also has the lightning bolt. It's a 42 thinner. And it's meant to be slightly aggressive, so it does take a lot of hair off with each swipe, but the teeth are close together, so it doesn't chunk it out like a chunker, and it doesn't leave marks in the coat. So it's really meant to be a cutting tool. It's not a detailer. It's not for fine thinning. This is an actual cutting tool, um, and we designed it to be that way. And then we have a fourth scissor in my line, which is not available yet. We did come out with it, and then we are tweaking it to make it better. But it is... This is... Um, a prototype of the new one and this is called also lightning by jonathan david but this is what we call a reverse thinner and what i mean by that is if you look at the regular thinning shear when i open and close it's the blade that moves with a reverse design when i open and close it's the teeth that move so you can take off a lot more hair with this so um, we were tweaking it because i wanted it more aggressive than what it was and so it's not available yet but we will have it available soon all right, guys, now I'm going to show you my mobile van. So I'm really proud of this. We bought a Hamby van to add to our business. Come on in. So this is our mobile grooming van. Um, it's all custom built from Hanby. Um, we got to pick out all the features that we wanted. We pretty much got every upgrade that they have. We've got our stainless steel tub from Forever Stainless. Best, best, best um, quality uh, stainless steel tubs that you can get in the industry. Um, we have two dryers. We have two force dryers. We also have a little um, clipper back system here, but I actually use it just as a vacuum right now. 
We keep um, our shampoos up here. I had these extra little um, upgrades put in their uh, shampoo um, dispensers. So what's really great about this is that it comes with something called a bathing beauty, which is water recirculation system. So you just fill a little bit of water in the tub and I just go put a pump of shampoo in there. It mixes everything, bathes the dog with the mixture of the shampoo and the water, give them a little scrub, rinse them with the fresh water and you're easy to go. Another great feature of this is that this plastic comes out and you can just walk a dog from the tub right over to your grooming table. So it makes life a lot easier for when you're dealing with some of those bigger dogs or the dogs that don't like to stand up. So this is the grooming table. Um, it's a great little setup. It's a small grooming table. It can hold pretty much up to like a small size standard poodle. Um, we primarily do smaller dogs in this van. Um, the idea was always to do smaller dogs. I didn't want to do the big hairy undercoat dogs. Um, I want to keep the van as clean as possible. And I had this um, custom made sh um, cabinet put in as well. So this holds all of our equipment and it's got all these shelves. It's got some great exhaust fans here. So um, on a cooler day, you can just um, turn this on and turn the other one on and just let the air circulate, but it's got an outstanding air conditioning unit in here. So even in the summer heat, it can be 100 degrees outside, but it's nice and cool inside for the comfort of me and the dogs. So this is my lap of luxury mobile van, and I hope you really love it as much as I do. All right, guys, thanks for touring lap of luxury with me. I'm really happy you got to see everything, but I have to close up my store, so you have got to go. Bye.